Hey there, just out here in the cold playing some basketball. Don't ask me why, I just felt like it. But Thanksgiving was in the air recently and it smelled a lot like turkey, Christmas, and every dad in America sitting down to watch football. So you know what that means? No basketball. Today we're gonna be stepping outside of my comfort zone. And I take that very literally. We're gonna be talking about John Madden football. I'm not ready for this. The first ever John Madden football came out in 1990. I had the 1993 version because my idiot imp brain thought that 93 was the first one. Remember kids, to always do your research before buying a game for a video that would end up getting cut and replaced with one with a lot less effort put into it. But because EA releases a new Madden every year, I'm not going to talk about the version I own, I will talk about the 1990 version. Uh, in 1982, Apple employee Trip Hopkins met with Don Valentine to discuss his business idea, Amazing Software. Don encouraged Trip to leave Apple, so he did. Trip would go on to start Amazing Software with one other guy who also worked at Apple with him. The other guy disliked the original name, so it was changed to Electronic Arts, EA for short. By 1986, the football-themed video game market had barely been touched, and most of the games didn't simulate the real deal accurately. EA wanted to create the most accurate football game in the world, but to get the most accurate sim, EA wanted some input, and who better to pick than John Madden himself? Madden wasn't an easy guy to get a hold of, so they pinned him down on a train, and Trip, a programmer named Rob Antonic, and some other staff pitched the idea of a 7-on-7 seven -seven football to John. He then later said that if it isn't 11-on-11, 11 11, it isn't real football. That's when Tripp and his team knew that they wouldn't be able to compromise. EA in the end would be able to do the 11-on-11, 11 11, but now they needed a console to dump it on. Conveniently enough, Sega was looking for a killer sports title for their system so they would have a 1-up on Nintendo. EA would later put John Madden football on the Super Nintendo a year later. A tried and true tradition of all EA sports games is to just re-release the same game every year just with better graphics and updated player rosters. Unless you're Madden 08 that is. So my version right here, 1993, will be nearly identical if not exactly the same to the 1990 version. So I guess we can go play it. But first... Oh man, it was freezing out there, and some guy stole my wallet, but that doesn't matter because he failed to take my copy of John Madden 93. Man, saying that out loud hurt. Well, that doesn't matter. Let's just crack it open and see what horrors await us. Ah! This is disgusting. There's no reason for it to look like this. This goes for the box, too. The box is bigger than regular Sega Genesis games. And you know what else? It has clips for regular Sega Genesis games, too! You know what? I'm just gonna forget this nightmare of a shape and plug it into the console and just play the game. I don't have a controller. Is it sad that this is what I expected? I mean, it makes sense, it checks all the boxes. John Madden. Well, moving on to the settings, we get to pick our teams. We got such great teams like Green Bay, Miami, New York, Dallas, All Madden, and Madden Greats. Well, we can also change our, the environment, which is pretty neat. Well, now that we know that, let's finally play. Come on. Well, it's a football game. It's not bad, and it's very well put together, but you can you can tell that there's some passion behind it, but MAN! Does this really only appeal to football fans? The game can get really complex for someone who really doesn't care about football or sports in general. With all the different plays and different button combos because the game was built with the 3-button controller in mind and not the 6 for whatever reason, 
it can get overwhelming and end up leading to some button mashing worse than a Smash player playing a normal fighting game. But at its core, it's just throw ball, run with ball, throw ball some more, try not to get tackled, try not to get out of bounds, and try to get to the other end of the field and throw ball some more. This is the base that is used in non-EA football games, uh, games like football in the Atari 2600. Better than you think. Madden isn't the only game that EA has made as realistic as possible. They also do it with all of their other sports games. And because of this, a lot of their games can be hard to pick up, which is why games like Wii Sports and Mario Tennis exist, so people who want to play a sports game but don't want to learn complex mechanics can. While an EA sports game can feel just like the last one that came before it, you have to admit that there is quite a bit of quality in these, but in the end, I just end up feeling like this isn't that fun. With all the complex mechanics involved, it honestly gave me a worse experience than Mario Party 10. Oh man, did I really say that?